This is the final iteration of my foundry furnace. It's currently operating on waste vegetable oil. The waste vegetable oil is star stored in this uh, 40 pound propane canister. It's preheated by this little Coleman gasoline stove. And we can see that it's currently at about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The waste oil is delivered to this sump vessel. There is a float valve to keep it at a steady fill height. Uh, the sump is, oh, I'd say it's about six inches deep, and in the bottom of it is a oil pump from um, a late 60s, early 70s Volkswagen Beetle, and uh, that's driven by this old DeWalt 12-volt uh, cordless drill. Um, the batteries, of course, are no good, so it is hooked up to uh, a 7 amp hour lead acid gel cell. Um, the oil is then pumped to the Babington burner, which is the major change in the design from the original uh, oil drizzle system that worked but was not that successful. So the Babington burner, the idea is you have a spherical uh, jet and you drizzle the waste oil over the outside and it coats the outside of the jet and then there's a 10,000th of an inch hole drilled in the end and the inside of that ball, uh, this is in fact a brass doorknob that I got from Home Depot, the inside of that ball is pressurized with 30 PSI and that creates a nice jet, uh, they call this the whale blowhole effect, of uh, atomized oil into the furnace. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's running quite nicely. It's nice, nice and toasty in there. Ouch! Uh, air is provided by a leaf blower. Now this is way overpowered, uh, so it's it's run uh, with a auto transformer, uh, a Variac, to adjust the speed. And, and I, I'm running it really at a very low speed. I will probably replace this with a, with a much smaller blower uh, eventually, but uh, I had these components and this was easy to set up. Um, so this is, this is what I call post-apocalyptic engineering. It's, uh, this was all built with parts that I had. I bought almost nothing except a couple of the little brass fittings. Um, the Volkswagen oil pump was uh, a, a key feature. Um, I actually did buy the, uh, the brass doorknobs that I used for the uh, Babington burner because I really didn't have anything that was just quite the right shape and easy to get uh, pressure into. Uh, this can be run on compressed air, but in this case, I'm running it on uh, propane. This makes it really easy to um, preheat the, uh, the foundry. I've got a, a bypass valve here, so I use pure propane to get the uh, chamber nice and hot, and then I switch over to the waste oil. Uh, and I think I said earlier, uh, in this case, this is... Uh, peanut oil left over from frying our Thanksgiving turkey last year and it makes a nice uh, a nice fuel for my waste oil furnace. So now I need to get a mold bench set up and actually start making things. This is Jake Von Slat. See you next time.